Good morning, Dolphins fans! I am in an outstanding mood this morning, and you might be asking two questions. Will, why are you such in a great mood? And second, why are you wearing a Syracuse University polo when this is a Miami Dolphins show? I'm going to answer those questions in a second. But first, go down subscribe to the channel because when Dolphins news breaks, regardless of where I'm at, I'm going to get you guys a video. It's my vacation day. I'm about to hit the road for vacation. I'm like, you know what? The road trip can wait a little longer. I got to get a video to my subscribers on Dolphins today because the Dolphins have made a signing. They are bringing in former Syracuse University punter Sterling Hoffrichter. They have waived Tommy Heatherly, and Sterling just happens to be a friend of mine. Here's a picture of us in college together with former, or he's still a Syracuse kicker, Andre Smith. And here's a picture of us a little bit after I moved to Dallas a couple months back. So you can imagine how excited I am right now that a friend of mine is a Miami Dolphin. I'm on cloud 10. I'm feeling outstanding. I'm so happy for Sterling. And it's so funny because I've told people in the chat sports office the last couple months, I'm like, man, the Dolphins have some question marks at punter, especially before they signed Thomas Morse that I was saying this, but I said they need to bring my guy Sterling in. He's got so much upside, so much potential. He's a phenomenal talent, a great guy. The Dolphins need to get him in the building, which is proof that Chris Greer is watching our show. Thank you, Chris Greer. I'm so excited right now. This is outstanding. Give me a uh, grade the signing. Go down in the comment section, grade the signing, type A, B, C, D, or F. If you type anything other than A+, plus, I'm blocking you. Just kidding. But I'm very, very excited about Sterling Hoffrichter coming to the Dolphins. He was one of the best punters in the country at Syracuse University. He was a third-team All-American in 2019, was a Ray Guy Award finalist that year as well. That was a very special year for Syracuse. They had a 10-win season. You had Eric Dungy on that team. Syracuse went to the Camping World Bowl, smacked the crap out of West Virginia. That was one of the best Syracuse seasons in recent memory. Sterling was on that team. Then in the 2020 draft, he was a seventh round pick. It's not easy for a punter to get drafted. He did. He got picked up by the Falcons and had a really solid rookie season. Now, the problem if you're a if you're a specialist, a kicker or a punter, if you get injured and you're you're young, you're screwed. Uh, you know, it's different if you're Justin Tucker and get injured because you're already proven. But Sterling got hurt uh, in August of 2021, so kind of during the start of training camp, and he was waived by the Falcons. Luckily, he got picked up by his hometown Tampa Bay Buccaneers. He was born in Jacksonville. He's from the Tampa Bay area. Played in a couple games for them. Then he signed a futures contract with the Buccaneers in 2000 or earlier this offseason. And then he was waived by the Bucs last week. He gets picked up by the Dolphins. And I know they traded for Tyreek Hill. I know they signed Cedric Wilson, Raheem Mostert, Sony Michelle. They signed Melvin Ingram. But this is the best move Chris Greer and the Dolphins have made all offseason bringing in Sterling Hoffrichter, and he's going to be able to compete with Thomas Morstead. And this punter competition just became a lot more interesting because at first it was Tommy Heatherly against Thomas Morstead. And I, I like Tommy. I, I did, but, uh, you know, he's not as proven as Sterling is. He wasn't as good in college as Sterling was in college at Syracuse. So the competition was, it wasn't, you know, let's put it nicely, there wasn't much of a competition between Tommy Heatherly and Thomas Morstead. But now you bring in a former draft pick with NFL experience that has played well in the league, and you put him up against Thomas Morstead, who is aging. Let's be honest, Morstead's getting up there. He's not nearly as good now as he once was when he's playing for the Saints. The Saints let him go. So it's going to be fascinating now to watch this punter competition and Sterling Hoffrichter next Saturday. Again, we're having a watch party for that game. He is going to be able uh, to go up against his former team and his hometown team in the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. He's going to have a lot of family there. I'm excited uh, to watch Sterling in that game. And we'll see who has the better impact in terms of flipping the field. Is it going to be up and coming Sterling Hoffrichter, who's 25 years old and very young? 
or is it going to be Morstead, who is aging? And I know he did sign that one-year deal with the Dolphins, but when he signed that one-year deal, I did a video from this very spot. It was an at-home video. Remember, it was the day they brought in Reuben Foster for a visit, and I said, Morstead is not a lock to make this team because they're probably going to go out and sign a young punter. They did so bringing in Heatherly. They parted ways with Heatherly today, who was an FIU talent. I know a lot of y'all liked him because he was a hometown kid. But now they're bringing in another Florida native in Sterling Hoffrichter. Give me your one-word reaction to the signing. Go down in the comments section and let me know. It is the pinned comment on today's video. When that break comes, go down, chime in. What is your one-word reaction to the signing? While you're down there, like this video if you like the signing because we're trying to reach a wider audience here at Dolphins today. How we do that is more likes on our videos. So more people will come across our channel. We just surpassed 26,000 subscribers. It's great. Content's starting to pick back up. I'm able to get you guys more videos, so really excited about that. Now, I thought about calling Sterling right now and trying to get him on the show, uh, but I'm doing this on my phone, so I can't call him. Thinking about FaceTiming him from my iPad. Look, at, at, the, at the very least, we will get him on the show at some point. I, I think that we can make that happen. I texted him about 15 minutes ago when the news broke, and I'm like, hey... Uh, yo, I said, let's freaking go. Congrats. So when he responds, you know, I might, I might ask for a statement for him, put that on a community page, but I'm guessing he's a practice. I don't want to bother him and call him. Uh, but we'll certainly get him on the show at some point. Uh, I'm really excited. If you could tell, I'm pretty excited about my buddy being a Miami Dolphin. It is a pretty surreal experience. Let's go Fins, man. I'm fired up. This is great. This is great. So training camp uh, practice resumes today. So I know I told y'all there was going to be an offensive line video going out today at 1 o'clock Eastern time. Uh, because of this news, I don't want to have the two videos like super close together. I'm going to push back that video a little bit. So stay tuned for that. I'm going to put it out at 4 o'clock Eastern time right now. So it was originally slated to go out at 1. So the first 10 people to comment on that video will get a shout out on a future show. And again, I'm going on vacation this weekend. My friend is having a party cruise on the lake for her birthday. But I, even if I'm out on the boat with no reception, very little reception, but I will, I will have reception because I have Mint Mobile. But if you go uh, to our channel after news breaks, we're going to have a video for y'all. That's just what we do. I'm going to make a video regardless of where I'm at. If I'm on vacation, if JC or ever signs, I'm going to get you guys a video. So, again, punter Sterling Hoffrichter has been brought in to compete with Thomas Morstead. Going to be a lot of fun to watch those guys next Saturday in Tampa Bay. We're going to be having a watch party for that game here on Dolphins Day. And then our first Dolphins live show is going to be next Thursday.